Hi everyone, Justine Frolker here, and it's Faith Wrestle Friday. I'm back, and I'm still just as scared. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about my story and what I call the permission of the and, and how we have the example as Christians of how to live in this super uncomfortable space that I call the complicated gray. So make sure to subscribe, stick around, let's get right to it. Okay, so some of you might have seen my TED talk called The Permission of the And. And this is a concept that I came up with um, after my infertility journey, after um, really just hitting the darkest of dark lows and um, digging my way out and um, finding my faith and um, particularly finally giving myself permission to walk into the arms of Jesus. And I wrestle, wrestle, wrestle every day. Hence, Faith Wrestle Friday. So one of the pieces that I kept getting stuck on in scripture and what I also share in the TED Talk, I'll link that in the description below. I've bugged all of my pastors at church about this, but um, and it's shared in I think three of the four gospels, but um, I'm going to actually share with you from Matthew because it's what I turned to first this morning. So Matthew, um, let's see, 26. Yeah, Matthew 26, um, verse 39. So when he walked a little further and finally fell and prayed, Father, this is the thing I want. If there is any way, please take this bitter cup from me. Not my will, but yours be done. And then he literally, we go down and skip to 42. Father, if there is no other way for this cup to pass without my drinking it, then not my will but yours be done. I think I know one of the biggest saving graces for me in the Christian faith and in having Jesus at the center of my life is this. Um, Jesus was the permission of the end. He was man and he was divine. Um, he was human and felt so many of our human emotions, anger when he, you know, upended the tables in the temple. And here in this scene that I just, I struggled with for so long. I talk about my TED talk and when I talk to my pastors about it, like, I want to know what was he feeling? How did he get from this, this place of like, I don't want to do this. That human part of his head had to say, like, this isn't fair. What's happening? He was in pain. He was hurting. He was struggling. Like, what was he thinking and feeling? As a therapist, I want to know. But as a Christ follower who has to live in this world and do the work of not being of this world, I want to know what was he feeling in that moment. And when in scripture, when he says, like, I don't want to do this, and he asks his father to take this cup from him. And then he realizes, your will, not mine. And what was he thinking? How was he feeling? How did he get from this, I don't want to do this, to I trust you? And that's what I call the permission of the ant. This is such a huge piece and it's going to come back week after week after week for us in Faith Wrestle Friday. I know it because it's just the, it's, I think it's the turning point for so many people in their faith walk that I don't have to have all of this figured out because I have Christ in my life. Like, yes, I need to constantly turn it over to him over and over and over and over. And this is easier because I can turn to him and know that he walked it first. He knows what it's like to know that some of this in our lives are completely out of our control. And at the same time, God gifted us with free will to do this work, to believe, 
to surrender. And so I will surrender to the process and I will do the work of going back to the word for direction of taking care of myself because it's in scripture to do that. Take this cup. I don't want to do this. That human part of our head that goes back to, this isn't fair. What did I do to deserve this? What about them over there? And knowing that he walked it first, that he literally carried his own cross all that way. I keep going back to the Passion of the Christ. I just watched it for the first time. And like the human suffering and pain that he went through. And when they put him up on that cross and he still looked down and said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He looks at us and says, we can do this. You're worth it. That's why I'm up here. Like, we can do this. And baby girl, I know that your human mind is going to struggle in this world. You don't have to take heart. Like, lay it down at my feet. I've got this. And I get you. I see you in your pain and struggle because I did it. I know it. That's what makes this faith different. It doesn't make it easier or more comfortable. And so what can you do when you embrace this permission of the and? What can you do when you know that the God that you turn to also walked this path first, felt the pain and the frustration and the emotions and the hard, and he even questioned. I'm going to go as far to say as he even questioned, take this cup. I don't want to do this and I will trust it and do it anyway. That's what I got this week. I think probably we'll, we'll, we should just prepare that I'll cry in every single one. And I am going to receive that as, um, I don't ever wanna get rid of that undoneness of what he has done for me. And the awe and wonder that I have and curiosity of figuring this out so of course thank you for being here please make sure you like this video if you found it helpful i'll provide the links of my favorite resources in the description below please share with your friends and family or on your social media walls and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications if you never want to miss a take care tuesday therapy thursday and now a faith russell friday thanks for being here and I'll see you next week.